sometimes it's annoying, but it also kind of makes us who we are, right? Good morning, everybody. I am opening up the computer because in six minutes, I am teaching a class on Zoom. I believe second grade. They are studying the respiratory system, so I'm gonna be telling them about cystic fibrosis. So, that is exciting. And we will see what the rest of the day holds. I know Peter has a meeting this afternoon. And, oh, we have swim. Yes. And Peter's been working on a bunch of house projects, which has been really fun. He is going to screen in our side porch, this like, you know how our back deck is here and there's this little like offshoot and he is going to screen that in, which we are, we've talked about doing that, but we didn't know how possible it was and he's been doing some more research and I think we're gonna do it. So we might go get the supplies for that and what else? Normal, normal life stuff. But first, I'm gonna teach you the Zoom class. Four minutes, here we go. <coughs> <coughs> How appropriate, before I teach about cystic fibrosis, to cough my brains out. Oh, update on CF stuff. I'm doing a ton better. Thank you guys for your kindness and hoping that I feel better. I do, and I'm thankful. My lungs aren't quite back to normal. I'm still coughing more than usual and I have more mucus than usual, but functionally, like I'm running around doing whatever I wanna do. So <clears throat> I'm pretty sure at this point, we're just gonna leave it how it is because I've already done the oral antibiotics and I don't think I'm ready for IVs. Yeah, <clears throat> if I really didn't feel well, if I was feeling really drugged down, that would be a different story. But because my lung function has been stable, it's more just about like symptomatically, how am I doing? And I am coughing more, but it's not stopping me. Although in church yesterday, was it two days ago, I was coughing a lot and it's, you know, kind of unfortunate that you're in a quiet room and coughing a lot. But <coughs> what can you do, you know? What can you do? All right, three minutes. It's funny. Sometimes I'm getting on with like graduate student, medical students to teach. Other times I'm teaching for second grade. It's fun. It's crazy to see the differences in what these classes how they go and especially the Q&A section. I feel like people who are older, <clears throat> meaning like college or beyond, are more reserved. The high school students, some of them have questions, some of them are reserved, and then the second graders, no one's reserved. Everybody has a question or they wanna tell you like <clears throat> that there was a green sprinkle on their cupcake this morning or like they, they have all of the they want to share life, and I love that. Let's share life. <coughs> <coughs> now I'm doubting myself. How do I even explain cystic fibrosis? Come on, brain. Uh-oh. Zoom is installing updates. <gasps> oh, no. Unable to install updates? Oh, dear. I hope this works. This might not work. What am I going to do? <coughs> oh, I got, I already got questions from them. What is North Carolina like? What is it like having CF? How was it having CF in school? What is the new med you take and how has it helped you? What kind of treatments do you use? Is having CF annoying? Those are great questions. This is not working. That's bad news. Okay, there it goes. I usually have like my vest machine close by to show, but it's upstairs. So I'm just gonna have to explain it. Oh, here we go. Hello, everybody. Hi, Mary. How's everybody doing? Great. Good. Pretty good. 
Good. How's your Tuesday going? It is. Yeah, I was like, wait, it is Tuesday, right? Well, it's so good to be with you guys. Thank you for inviting me to be with your class today. Welcome. <clears throat> Happy to have you. So, should we just start? Yeah, sure. Oh, all right. So you guys are studying the respiratory system. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to talk a little bit more about cystic fibrosis today. And part of cystic fibrosis it involves the respiratory system, but it's not only the respiratory system. So you'll hear me talk about the GI system a little bit, like your guts and your pancreas and that sort of thing as well. But yeah, so cystic fibrosis <clears throat> is also called CF, cystic fibrosis, CF. Can you say cystic fibrosis? <laughs> yes. One time somebody was trying to say it and they said fish sticks, what was it? Fish sticks fibrosis, I think. Like fish sticks. <laughs> so yes, you can call it whatever you want, but I usually call it CF. And so I was born with CF, it's genetic. And some people are diagnosed when they are very, very young, the doctors figure out that their body has CF. Other people don't find out till they're older. But I was just a tiny little baby when they tested my body and they said, oh, yep, this little baby has cystic fibrosis. <clears throat> so my parents knew to give me medicines when I eat they knew to help my lungs by doing some airway clearance and they gave me the medicines I need and the pills I needed and and now I'm 33 years old. Is that kind of old? It is kind of old and that's amazing because cystic fibrosis is progressive and it is life-threatening and so it's very serious for a body to have to deal with. And so every year when I get older, I celebrate that I got to be another year older. How old are you guys? Eight. Seven. Yes, yeah, seven and eight years old. Yeah. So do you guys celebrate each time you have a birthday, you celebrate getting older? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about this, the cystic fibrosis issues in the body. So where are your lungs? Put your hands on your lungs. Breathe in and feel your lungs fill with air. Breathe out. You feel how your lungs filled up with air. When you have cystic fibrosis, your lungs don't fill with air quite as well. It can be a little bit hard to breathe. And part of the issue is like bacteria, sort of like if you have a cold or a virus, your body is like fighting bacteria. And so, it feels sort of like that when you have cystic fibrosis, but it's not germs that you can pass to another person. Like when you have a cold, you can pass the cold on to somebody else. With CF, it's not like that, but it, it sort of feels like that. It feels like you're coughing more and your lungs are like working harder. So I do things like airway clearance, meaning clearing out the airways, all that gunk, that mucus and the snot you feel when you're sick that my body has too much of that. And so I do things like, like you were doing bouncing on the ball. You are working your lungs, right? Yep, so exercise is really good for my lungs. And also I have a machine. I usually have it next to me, but it's not with me today. But it's a machine that you strap on a vest, pretend you're putting on a vest. It's like a life vest, okay? You strap it on and then there's two hoses, two long snaky hoses. So you plug one in, you plug the other in and you plug it into the machine and you push the button and guess what it does? It blows air into those tubes and it fills the vest up. It's just like a jacket, it's, it doesn't hurt. It's just like a jacket and then it shakes. It's kind of like, like that. And what it's doing is, yep, just like that, it is working to help the lungs get rid of the extra mucus and the extra snot and all of that so that my lungs can breathe a little better. I also do some nebulizers where you put the medicine in and it makes kind of a mist. Have you ever seen somebody who needs to use a nebulizer, maybe for asthma or anything like that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
<clears throat> yeah, so you know what that looks like. And it's another long tube. There's a lot of tubes involved. And you put the medicine in and you breathe it in and you breathe the medicine into your lungs. And what else? Oh, I know what medicine I can show you. Hold on one sec. These pills I take whenever I eat. So another part, not my lungs, different part, my pancreas is in charge of um, making enzymes for whenever I eat my food. And when you eat your food, your body says, ooh, she's eating or he's eating. And it sends you enzymes to help break down the food and absorb the nutrients in the food. So like, let's say when you eat a uh, red pepper, you're gonna absorb some vitamin C from the red pepper because red peppers have vitamin C, I think. And um, my body, my pancreas doesn't work right. So it doesn't know how to absorb the vitamin C. So, because it doesn't know how, we give it help. These pills have enzymes in them to help my body see that I'm eating food, absorb some of the nutrients, and break it down so that I can digest the food. So I take like five of these with every lunch time that I eat. When you guys sit down to eat lunch, I, you would see me right next to you popping my pills because I gotta take my pills when I eat my food. <clears throat> and then I take lots of other medicines for other reasons. I take some medicines to help my liver. Your liver is on the right side, right under your rib cage. So when you feel your rib cage, you can feel those little like lines where your ribs are. It's right under there, that's where your liver is. Yep, and um, I take some pills that help my liver. I take some pills that help my stomach. I take some pills that help my, uh, what else do I take? Some extra vitamins and stuff because like I said, my body doesn't really know how to absorb them from my food very well. So I have to take lots of like extra vitamins and some antibiotics. Um, yeah, so I take my medicines, I do my therapy, that best therapy and the nebulizers and what else? Hmm, let me look. I, I just got a list of questions that you guys had already asked. So let me start looking at those questions and see if I can start answering them. One person was asking, what was, what was it like having CF when I was in school? So things like taking pills when you're at lunch, that sort of thing. Now I was homeschooled, so, but I had other classes outside the house. So whenever I would go to class or something, if I'd pack my lunch, I had to make sure I packed my pills because do you know what happens if I forget to take my pills when I eat? What do you think might happen if I forgot? Choke? That was a good, um, a good question. It's less about how I eat this way. It's more about down after the food goes down into my digestive system. So right direction when you might get constipated oh constipated yes it's it's the other way so it would be like i got diarrhea so if you've ever had like the stomach flu and your belly is all sorts of messed up that's what it feels like because my body was like hey she ate food but we didn't digest the food the food didn't do what it was supposed to do so i get a tummy ache and i have to go bathroom fast so I make sure that I remember my pills. That is what I do. <laughs> so yeah, in school, <clears throat> other things like when we had like a gym class or something, if my lungs weren't doing so well, if I was coughing a lot, and say in the gym class, they were gonna run around the gym a bunch of times. Do you guys like to run around a bunch of times? Um, yeah, some of you do, some of you don't it would be a little bit hard for me on some days. And so some days I would have to sit on the side and just wait during that. <clears throat> but I still did soccer and gymnastics. And sometimes I would have to sit down and take a rest, but I could still do lots of things. And just like a lot of us, we can do a lot of things in life, but sometimes we have to do them a little different or We'll do them on a different timeline than our peers, and that's okay. It's okay if life looks a little different than what somebody else's life looks like. So that's how it was in school for me. Or <clears throat> like you can hear sometimes I have to cough or like I have 
left to clear my throat. That happened in class. And even when I'm an adult, if I'm in a, a class or a meeting or something, sometimes I have to cough. But uh, lots of people around me know that I have CF, so when they hear me coughing, they know, oh, she's okay, we don't have to worry about her. It's okay, she's just gonna cough. So I think that's how it was in school. I was, I was okay to tell people, oh, don't worry about my cough, I just have CF. Is having CF annoying? What a good question. You know what? Sometimes it is annoying. Sometimes it's annoying to have to um, think about all the different medicines or go to the doctors a lot. It's kind of annoying. But do you know what else? Sometimes hard things in life teach you how to be courageous or they give you an opportunity to be courageous or it teaches you how to be tough and strong. Or it teaches you that, yeah, that life sometimes is hard and doesn't look the way you want it to, but that you can keep on pressing on. Do you guys sometimes have hard days that teach you how to keep on going, keep on going? Yeah. yeah. So we all have those hard things that, yeah, sometimes it's annoying. But it also kind of makes us who we are, right? Let's see what other questions you have. <clears throat> what is it like having CF? It's sort of like having a cold because you're coughing more. It's sort of like having a stomach ache all the time if you forget your medicines. It's sort of like having a lot of friends who work at the hospital because you're at the hospital a lot and you get to make a lot of friends with your doctors. It's sort of like, some days I just don't feel good. It's like I look outside and I think, wow, it looks so fun outside, but I don't really feel like going outside. But one thing I've done <clears throat> when I don't feel good, like I'm feeling tired, my lungs feel really tired. Sometimes I describe it like if you have a water balloon but it's kind of saggy and it, it's like half empty and it's like, blah, you know, that's what my lungs feel like sometimes. Like blah. if I feel like that, but I want to go outside, you know what I do? I grab a blanket and I grab a pillow and I go sit outside and I don't run around and I don't play ball and I don't go on a walk, but I sit outside anyway. Sometimes you just got to make it happen, even if you don't feel great. So that's kind of what it's like having CF. I need to be responsible to take all my medicines so that my body can do as well as it possibly can. And I need to do my job, which is making sure I call the doctor on time when I need to go like, oh, my lungs aren't doing so good. Um, I need to make sure that I'm careful when friends come over, if they're sneezing and coughing, if they have a cold or something, I do not need to catch a cold on top of having CF. So if they have a cold, I say, let's just go outside and sit so I don't catch your germs and I don't hug them and we wash our hands and we just make the most of it, you know? So that's what it's like having CF for me. It's different for everybody.